Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Ang Wang, your host from Co for Coaching Coins, and today I have Tommy as my guest. He's a P4 student. Hello everyone, I'm Tommy. He's a P4 student in Houston, Texas, and today we're gonna talk about uh, credit score, credit report, and credit freeze. And Tommy's not too familiar with this topic, so I'm gonna have him kind of ask me a few questions and he wanna learn, so I thought it'd be good to share with <laughs> yes. you guys as well. Yeah, so right now, I, I feel like I do know a lot about finance right now, but something that I always hear, uh, what is your credit report? I always see that you can get a cre free credit report. What is that exactly? I know, I actually asked him, he's like, I've never got my credit. I'm like, what? This, okay. Well, credit report is something they can get uh, once a year for free from three different uh, company, or you just go to this website. I'm gonna read it because I remember my head. Annualcreditreport.com or through phone or by mail, but I would say online is the best way just because you can access it and save it to your file and review it. Um, I actually did this last year and I had to dispute it, my credit report because they added someone with similar name to my credit report and I'm not sure that that helps or hurt, but it looks like it didn't help as much. So I disputed on my credit report saying, these are not my accounts. I don't have these credit cards. Uh, it's a list of basically all your loans, all your credit cards that you have, all the accounts, if you have a mortgage. I mean, it's really a lengthy, lots of pages, but it's good to go through at least once a year because they make mistakes and I've realized that the, the long way of doing it and it was my first year disputing it. And it really, the reason why you wanna do it because you want to make sure that your credit reports are straight from what you're doing because it affects your credit score. What, what is a credit score? Yeah, so good question. So credit score, and we kind of mentioned in other videos, but with credit score, it basically is a calculation using your credit report and it goes back and that's mm. why I'm so uh, adamant about everybody getting their credit report at least once a year. And it's free. Did I say it's free? It's free. <laughs> Everyone it's free. loves free. <laughs> yes, everybody loves free and it's free. So you have to go and get it. Um, your credit scores are from your credit report and with that it kind of calculate based on pay payment history. So if you're late, scores goes down. If, uh, what is your balance, outstanding balance? So that's what we talked about. You know, try not to use more than 20 to 30% of your credit limit because that also affects it. Um, the length of your credit history, so how long you kept that account open, your credit card or your bank or whatever that you have the applications of new credit accounts. So that's what we were saying in one of our other videos that don't try to get <laughs> Macy's card, Dillard's card, Target card, just because they give you like 10 or $15. Really be intentional with the uh, credit card that you apply for. And lastly, it's also the types of credit accounts. So is it a mortgage, is it a student loan or car loan? They take a look at all of that. So I really, really highly recommend that every student, everybody in this world need to get their credit report um, because it helps you build your um, credit score. And the credit score goes from 350 to 850. And of course, 850 is the best. I Mine right now is about 817. And one way if you're uh, kind of don't want to get your credit report on a yearly basis, which you can, one way to really know your credit score is through bank. Um, there are certain bank as well as credit card company out there that offers to give you your credit score for free. Um, so for example, uh, I have Wells Fargo and I have Bank of America and I have their app and they will let you look at your credit uh, score and they will trend it as well for you. So if one year you look at your credit score, it go from 700 to 600. I would highly recommend for you to go and request a credit report because that means either something is not right or they're making a mistake on it. Does that make sense? That, that does make sense. Um, let's see, another thing I, I sometimes hear is what's a credit freeze? I'm not too sure. Is a credit score, credit report, credit freeze? Yes, <laughs> um, I know. All these are really confusing and again, I. I taught myself all this through reading books and listen to other podcasts and seminars. Um, and I really want to share that with you guys because I'm so passionate about things that, you know, these are things that are so crucial for us and, and we don't get like any of this in school, right? Mm, so nope. <laughs> you got to learn it on your own. Um, credit freeze is something new recently this year. 
where you can actually, to prevent identity theft, you can put a credit freeze by calling one of the um, cr um, company, credit card company, or not credit card company, the um, credit report company, like Experian, Equifax, TransUnion. You can put a freeze, meaning that no one can pull your credit scar score without your permission. The major benefit of it is it helps to prevent um, identity theft. So if someone does trying to pretend to be Tommy and they're trying to buy, get another credit card or buy a car, they can't do that because they can't pull a credit score. So it's really helpful um, to, I would highly recommend it. It's probably a lot more complicated and making it right now, but I think it's the step to take you to go through that process is important. One thing you do want to consider before doing a credit freeze is that, are you gonna have any major purchases coming up? Anything that would requires you to get your credit score if yes, and I would just hold off. But if you're not planning to, like myself, I got, you know, we already got our house, we already got our car, I already have my credit card, so I'm not planning to do any big purchases. So it would, I would be the ideal candidate for a credit freeze at this point to prevent an identity theft. Um, so that's basically credit score, credit report, credit freeze. It's really confusing. Um, there are a lot of resources out there. There are a lot of uh, financial podcasts as well as um, blogs that you can learn. But I learned all this through just my reading and just very motivated to learn. Because um, when you make six figure, um, it you really have to be very judicious and spend your money wisely and know where to um, be able to save as well as invest and get ready for retirement. Yep. Thank you so much, Anne, for helping me understand these three credit. Absolutely. And again, my challenge to you, as well as those who are watching, is trying to get your credit report. It is almost the end of the year as we are recording this, so um, you can get this November or December or I mean, once you can get it free, so it doesn't matter when. What I usually do um, is, since you get free from three different companies, a TransUnion, a Equifax, and um, Experian. I was trying to do like a quarterly report, so, or you know, kind of play around with those three, but you can get one for free from each. So you can kind of keep a, somewhat a real time um, up to date with your report. So you'd have to wait until the end and get it from everybody. Uh, when you, one thing you may see on your credit report is it looks a little bit different from the three different companies. And again, they may make a mistake and you want to look at all three because that affects your credit score greatly. I hope you find this helpful. Again, if I'm missing anything, please post in my, uh, the comment below for others to see. I am not a financial expert, but I'm here to share you what things I've learned and what things I wish I've known earlier in my career, um, especially when I'm a student. So I hope you find this helpful. And if you find this helpful and want to share with others, please do. And if you want to see other new videos, please subscribe to my channel below. Thank you. Take Thank care. you. Bye.